Hi, I think we should support the teachers' unions. Oh no, why? Because teachers have the most important job in the world. Who told you that? The teachers' unions. But what's so good about the unions? They make sure teachers can never be fired, no matter how bad they are. That's not a very comforting thought. For bad teachers it is. I'm not one of those. In that case, it's for the children. How does that help children? It teaches them that everyone deserves a job. Equality is very important. Is that why unions want all teachers paid the same, no matter how good or bad they are? It's unfair to evaluate the performance of a teacher, it makes them nervous. Don't teachers spend all day grading the performance of their students? Children should be held to a higher standard. Why? They are not unionized. Don't give them any ideas. If teaching is the most important job, doesn't that mean there should be more scrutiny of their work, not less? No need for that. They are all doing an outstanding job. Who told you that? The teachers' unions. Then why are public schools failing all across the country? Parents are not involved enough. Does giving teachers more money increase parent involvement? No. Does making teachers unfireable increase parent involvement? No. Does giving teachers more vacation time increase parent involvement? Yes. When school's out, the parents have to watch their kids. That's creative. The way to improve school is to have less of it. They only get a few months of vacation each year. They could use more time off. Schools that operate outside the public school system hold their teachers accountable, and they perform better. That's a coincidence. The only way to really improve public schools is money. How much money would it take? More. How much more? A lot more. Can you be a little more specific? How much does the country have left? I'm guessing not enough. Just keep giving them money until the unions say you can stop. No. Why not? I'm worried they might forget to say stop. This isn't all about money, you know. What else is it about? It's about freedom of choice. For what? Collective bargaining. For what? More money. And freedom. Do you believe in freedom of choice when it comes to schools? No. Vouchers and charter schools are bad. Or freedom of choice when it comes to union membership? No. Everyone should join the union. Or choice of political parties to support? No. The unions should all support Democrats. Or choice of whether to support the school? No. Everyone must pay the taxes. So I guess freedom isn't the higher priority after all. It is. There's only one higher priority. What? Money for the teachers' unions. For a moment there I thought you were going to say the children. Yeah, them too. But we must support the unions, because they contribute so much. What exactly do they contribute to the community? Who said anything about the community? They contribute to the Democratic Party. I'm not one of those. In that case I meant it's for the children. In what conceivable way? I'll get you the specifics later. I'll just hold on to my tax dollars until then. Don't be so selfish. Taxpayers need to stop fighting the unions. Well you did say you wanted parents to get more involved. Taxpayers need to be more generous. Are teachers unions generous in any way? Does it count as generosity if it's to themselves? No. Wall Street wrecked the economy. It's not the teachers unions fault. Is it the taxpayers fault? No, but the economy affects us all, and we all have to sacrifice. I agree, even the unions. You misunderstand. I meant we all have to sacrifice so the unions can keep getting whatever they want. Why should they be the only ones unaffected by the economy? It's for the children. You mean the same children who will eventually have to pay the enormous government debt created by all those pensions and benefits? This is why we don't spend much time teaching them economics.